It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Nigeria and this is a bottle of Gulda the Ultimate. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Gulda the Ultimate. It's a 600 milliliter bottle. Very rare sized bottle. Normally 440 ml bottles, 500 ml bottles. This is a 600 milliliter bottle. And I picked it up and I was like, ooh, that feels slightly bigger and then of course I read the back of the bottle yeah and 600 ml I love the glass the way the glass is what's the word embelched it's got an engraving on the glass beautiful goldenigeria.com made with the finest ingredients. This is a lager and it's coming in at 5.2% ABV. Love it, I love the label. I picked this up in Home Bargains, a local kind of UK bargain shop. It's got a foil neck with the gold on the neck. It just looks good, it just it does. It looks and it just feels, I love the way that my hand is struggling to go around the bottle. It feels rather manly. Right, let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. The beer itself was around £1.50 for a big 600 milliliter bottle. I, don't, I only have 500 ml glasses. I don't think I'm going to get all this in. Now there's a little bit at the bottom, look. Yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to keep some beer. Isn't that amazing? Completely filled, or within reason, filled the pint glass. I wanted to leave a head on there. Uh, so we got a one finger white head. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. It's a slightly hazy. It's clear at the bottom clear light amber coloured beer but then it becomes hazy as you get to the top of the beer quite like that too let's get the aroma oh it's really grainy oh yeah it's really grainy it reminds me of um you know the top of a custard cream biscuit, like the white biscuit, not the cream, but the biscuit, or a wafer, like a Jacob's cracker, wafer biscuits. And then it's got a spiciness to it, and a lemon, and a, a pepperiness, and a spiciness. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. My first Nigerian lager. But I think I've had a Nigerian beer in the past because I've had Guinness Foreign Extra Stout. Which I believe is brewed in Nigeria in the Guinness plant out there. So I have had a Guinness uh, a beer brewed in Nigeria before but never an actual kind of lager like beer. So let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, there's so much going on. This is not your regular lager. This is not your regular point and click, point and shoot, kind of pick up a four pack of lager. Foster's, Carlin, Stella Artois. This is quite different. It's got, it, it's spiced. It's spiced differently. It's got a slight, ever so slight kind of like mentally, almost slight minty flavour to the beer. Which is really quite unusual but really quite nice. It's only faint. It's not like loads of menthol. But it's just got a slight kind of menthol flavour in there. The 
The beer is nicely carbonated. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more flavour. It's a nicely brewed beer. It's an expertly brewed beer. It really is. I've never been to Africa. I would love to go to Africa. The closest I've ever got to Africa was the, like, your Tenerife, your Lanzarote, your, like, your, your islands just off North Africa. So I've been in the region, if you like, um, but they're governed and known by the Spanish. So there's Spanish islands. It's not like I've ever been to Africa, but I would love to go to Africa and I'd love to sample some of their beers. Um, it's nice to be able to sample this beer in the bottle over here in the UK, but the difference is it's, it's had to travel thousands and thousands of miles. And I think to have a pint of this on draft in a Nigerian bar, I think it would be a completely different beer. It's nice. It's nice. I do think it's 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 slightly suffered from the travel. Maybe that slight menthol flavour wouldn't be in the beer if it didn't have to travel a few thousand miles and then sit on a shelf in home bargains in the UK for however long it sat there. In fact, it would be good to have a look at the date at this point, wouldn't it? Just to see. There is a date. It is very faint. So drink by the November 2021. Drink this by November 2021. So um, it's now July. So we've got about four months. It's in date by four months. Um, but yeah, I just think it's the travel that's the, 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 just taken some of the edge off this beer. But it's a very interesting beer. It's nice and malty and drinkable. It's hoppy, it's bitter on the back end, it's spicy, it's peppery. There's nice wafer-like flavours. There's a good balance to the beer. It's a well-brewed beer. It's a well-brewed beer. It's just tasting a little bit old. Just a little bit old. Right, who brews this beer then? Brewed and bottled under licence from BPI The Netherlands by Nigerian Breweries PLC. Iganmu House, Lagos, Nigeria. I'm going to do a very, very quick, if you don't mind, um, a very, very quick... Never done this before. Never. I'm getting untapped out on my phone. And I'm getting the barcode scanner out. So I'm going to scan the barcode on this beer. Yeah, so it's not... I'm just trying to find out who owns it. So it's Nigerian Breweries PLC, 5.2%. So it's, it's not owned by like Carlsberg or Heineken or anybody like that. Just uh, Nigerian breweries. Let's um, let's rate it. Let's rate it. Goulder beer. Please, I got my hands on it. I love to try different things from different places. I'm a man of the world. Um, I like the imagination. I like the imagination of, of, of thinking I might be in Nigeria one day drinking one of these beers. It's just how I am as a person. I like to travel, I like to see new places, and I like to experience culture. So I'm gonna rate this beer. I like it enough to give it an eight out of 10. It's an eight out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.